Hello and welcome to JAR City Session 2. For this lesson, you will need the following materials, including your volunteer guidebook, the student table tents from the first lesson, as well as their junior journal worksheet, and be prepared to access the digital presentation found at learn.ja.org. You can work with your classroom teacher to determine whether you or the teacher will be responsible for pulling up the digital presentation each time you visit the classroom. We recommend asking the teacher to have the presentation ready for you if possible. To aid in preparation and facilitation, you'll see in the guidebook blue text boxes which contain JA of South Dakota session specific teaching tips, and yellow text boxes that include vocabulary terms and presentation content that's not already provided for you in your guidebook. Begin this session by greeting the students and redistributing their name tents from the previous session. Tell students that in session two, many ways to pay, they will be learning ways people can spend their money. The next slideshow is a picture of the junior journal worksheet in this session. Students will need this worksheet later on in the lesson, and I recommend passing this out during the many ways to pay activity beginning on slide eight. For the next slide, we can re use this to review the four choices that people have with their money and introduce the essential question to the students. When we buy something, what choices do we have to pay for it? The learning goal for this lesson is for students to recognize the different methods of payments for goods and services, and for them to be able to explain the purpose of different choices when making purchases. Introduce the concept of buying. Consider asking students to identify the type of money on the screen. Please note that students may be unfamiliar with some of the coins, so make sure to take the time to go over each one's name and how much they're worth. Ask students to tell you what they use to spend money on. What do their parents or guardians use to spend their money? Do they use Apple Pay, Venmo, credit card, etc.? Please note that many students might not have their own money. Consider asking students to brainstorm what they could do to make their own money. The next slide features the Money Flows warm-up video. Once again, those who are familiar with the third grade curriculum may notice that the cha-ching videos and characters have been removed as JA no longer has license to use these characters. This video will be available for all five sessions of the JAR City program, and it is up to the volunteer's discretion as to whether you play the video during one visit, multiple visits, or all visits. As we move forward in the slideshow, the next slide showcases this session's vocabulary terms. This slide is interactive and provides an opportunity for students to come up and select each vocabulary card to reveal the definition. I recommend asking students to think about how they would define each of the terms before revealing the definition. From here, you can provide students with several more examples of the goods and services. Go through each picture and ask the students to share whether it is an example of a good or a service and discuss as needed. You could consider asking the students to brainstorm and share other examples of goods and services that they and their families spend their money on. The next slide has five additional vocabulary words. Ask students to contribute their ideas for each concept before revealing the definition of each. If you have not done so already, at this point, please hand out the junior journal for many ways to pay activity. Students will need to use the chart on their junior journal worksheet to take notes. Please be aware that students are still working on their note-taking skills and recording answers may take a bit of time. To begin, have students think about each type of payment and come up with a list of things they know about each payment type prior to revealing how it works. Answers can be found on page 14 of your volunteer guidebook. I would recommend writing the list of the class on the classroom board if possible. Students are encouraged to paraphrase their answers and you could have them record part of the list that the class came up with instead if they are struggling to copy um, any of the answers. Consider sharing your preferred choice of payment. Do you use cash or card more frequently? And why? 
What are the advantages of carrying a card versus carrying cash or vice versa? Do you use a digital wallet? What might be a disadvantage of not physically seeing the money you spend? Could it lead to overspending? Why is overspending bad? You will see that each type of, ca of um, payment is on the slide. This is where you would talk about it. And then the next slide, you can talk about it a little bit more um, and you're gonna go through it as a class. If time allows, have students work on the how would you pay activity and let's scroll, it's over on slide 19. So which way to pay? You can complete this activity as a whole group or you could have students in small groups. They can be new groups, you and the teacher select, or you can keep students in their groups from the previous activity. I recommend reading the scenarios out loud to the entire class before having students begin, regardless if they're working as a whole class or in a small group. If students are working in their small groups for this activity, assign each group a scenario from the slide. Tell them that they need to figure out which of the payment methods would be best for the situation. Give students about one minute to talk with their group members and decide on an answer and su something to support their reasoning with. So they have to have an answer and a why. After time is up, ask each group to share out their answers and provide feedback as needed. Please note that the answers are revealed by clicking on each of the scenarios. So you might not want to click on one too soon to give away an answer if you're not ready for that part yet. If you have extra time at the end of your lesson, have students work on the how would you pay portion of their junior journals. Instruct students to take one minute to think about something they would like to buy, then have students write that in the box on their junior journal. From there, students should select what type of payment they'd use to buy their item and explain why that would be the best way to pay. If there's time, ask several students to share what they would buy and what payment choice they would use and why that would make the most sense. You have reached the end of this lesson. Please tell students that they can keep their junior journal worksheets at the end. Remember, either you or the teacher should collect the student name tense since they will be needed for the following lesson. And that brings us to the end of JAR City session two.